All right, today we're going to demonstrate how to remove the bottom fork stanchion where the caliper mounts from the fork tube because Andre wants to powder coat the lower. Right? So this is a, the fork, a Showa fork from a 2001 Ducati Monster 900 IE. This is a non-adjustable fork, but this would be pretty similar for most upside down forks. So typically there's a set screw that you want to make sure you loosen. You're going to have to use heat most likely because there's probably thread lock on that set screw. And then you're going to need a vise to hold the, the fork stanchion in place. And then you can use the holes in the top of the fork tube and some kind of screwdriver or rod that will fit the diameter of the tube, the hole in the tube, to loosen the tube because there is a good amount, a fair amount of thread lock on this tube that you're going to want to break free. Okay, so we're going to use the bench vise to clamp the bottom of the fork. Andre's got a sock here that he uses on his, which is actually pretty nice, smart idea. Or you can get soft jaw inserts for the vices. Some of them are wood, some of them have rubber inserts. You just want to keep the diamond pattern on the jaw from marking up your fork blowers. So we're going to insert this in here. And it doesn't need to be cranked down super tight. You just want to keep it from rotating uh, when you're trying to break free the, the fork tube. So he's using a propane torch, which is a good temperature. Uh, you might be able to use a MAP torch, but that might be a little hot. Right, so he's recoating these, so we really don't care if we mess up the paint that much on this. But uh, usually the paint on these is pretty hard, so the heat doesn't bother them. Yeah, these ones are actually just raw aluminum. I don't even think they're painted. Not even so. Coated. so we're going to let it get warm for a bit. As long as he doesn't set his sock on fire. That only happened once. And sometimes if, if you feel like it, you can take out the set screw here and put a couple drops of oil. It just depends. We did the last setup, last setup uh, without doing that. So this is the fork tube we took out of the other side. And you can see there's quite a bit of uh, thread lock on there. So this is why you have to use heat. That's a regular right-hand thread, you know, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. So you don't have to do anything special when you're unscrewing it. Uh, this is a good idea to work it back and forth. If you try to unscrew it all at once, this will build up and probably make it really hard for you to get out. So we'll demonstrate that technique. Tool in. There she goes. So you'll see me working this back and forth so that the thread lock doesn't build up on the threads. I'm going about a quarter turn, maybe half a turn each time. While we keep the heat even on the bottom. Make sure you don't set your helper on fire. Don't set the helper on fire. This one's, this one's a lot easier than the last. Sweet. The other one might have, might have had a lot more dirt filled up on the, the tube from the yeah. leaking fork seal. for not wearing safety glasses. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> safety third. A lot easier than the last one. I like it. 
Oh, God. That is terrible. horrible. <laughs> and then she's coming out. There she goes. So you just keep unscrewing, even though it feels like it's done. You just gotta... And it'll pop out. Yeah. So there it is. That's how you take a fork tube out of your lower stanchion. 